Welcome to another Basics from Varnberg Implement. Now today we're going to talk about hydraulic coupler tips. Back before 1981, every manufacturer used different types of hydraulics or different brands of hydraulic tips and couplers. Uh, we had, like that's a John Deere, that's, that's one type, here's another type. And what you had to do is if you had tractors is you had to buy special adapters to go from one brand to another brand. So you could use different implements. And everybody was, the farmers were all getting tired of uh, having to switch back, switch tips, carry these special couplers, buy extra components. So the International Standards Organization, along with the equipment manufacturers, came together and decided to, went to go to one system. ISO 5675 is the coupler tip code that determines the shape of the coupler, both the male tip and the female tip uh, so that they can connect together. They actually used the Pioneer brand which was being used by Massey Ferguson, Oliver, Alice Chalmers was using it in their later years but uh, so a Pioneer ISO 5675 tip or anybody's fit ISO 5675 tip will fit inside the female couplers. Now there is a wide array of couplers. This is basically the Pioneer style. This is an 8010 tip. Um, this is the, the corresponding half inch pipe thread coupler uh, that works. But there is a wide variety. This is a ISO style tip, female. There's another style. That's a big, big, heavy, beefy one. These are all still used the same tip. The same tip will go in and lock into that. There's different styles of couplers. Um, one of the things that you get is a more standard coupler versus a hydraulic assist. A standard coupler, as we've got here, requires you to pull the sleeve back or sometimes you can pull them forward uh, to disengage it, but you manually have to do it. With a hydraulic assist coupler, you can push in, you can push it in and pop it out. Makes it a lot easier. That's going to be one of the differences when you're looking at cost is standard, just mechanical pop it style coupler or a hydraulic assist coupler. Hydraulic assist is going to be much more expensive. Uh, there is basically two types of threads that are in the industry if, for your mail tips. You're going to have what they call o-ring th or pipe thread. This is half inch pipe thread tip and it'll go on to a half inch hose. That's a half inch pipe thread hose. That pipe thread is the thread dimensions on the hose. Actually I have a half inch piece of half inch pipe right here and the coupler tip will screw right onto it. The coupler is a half inch and it screws onto this. So that is how you determine uh, if you got pipe thread, or there's another one that they call O-ring thread. You see a little O-ring right there. This is a three-quarter inch O-ring thread, and you have to you screw the coupler on, and it will lock itself in place. A lot of the late style hoses will go to this. Even there is some metric stuff coming out of uh, overseas, but it is still the same shape here. Will plug directly into your coupler. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to go out and I'm going to show you on the tractor some of the different styles but the thing to remember if you buy an IOS 5675 tip it's going to have this shape and design. Now one, of, one quick tip is if you look right inside of there you'll see an o-ring. That o-ring if you plug this in and it leaks when plugged in that it means the o-ring is bad. That o-ring, which uh, we keep in stock here at Varnberg Implement, uh, we've got them right here on the shelf. There's actually two different durometers. This is the 90 durometer. It's a little stiffer uh, versus the 70 durometer. You'll see is a little softer. This is a softer o-ring. This is a stiffer o-ring. The 90 is a little more heavy duty one that we sell the most but uh, you can use either one. That coupler tip when that 
when you insert it into there, that O-ring is going to seal right there. If you get nicks and abrasions out here on this outer rim, it will cut that O-ring the first time and it will leak. So make sure that your edge of your tip is in good shape. Always take a rag and clean, the, clean your tip before installing it. That way you keep your seals nice and tight and clean and they last a lot longer. Now there are some specialty couplers. Um, one of the things, this is not your normal implement coupler. Some of the early generation loaders use what they call the 3 8 It's a little smaller here. Um, this is more of a specialty coupler uh, in a loader application. And they use a male tip and a female tip. Those are specialty couplers, but the rear remote valves are the ones we're talking about that use the ISO 5675 specification. One other style of coupler that I want to mention is the, what they call the flat face. This is becoming very popular on loader installs and it actually, when the coupler tip goes in, it engages here to open the coupler tip. This is what they would call the male or the female coupler goes on to a male tip which is typically on your loader. But that is a flat face coupler. Found a lot of them on skid steers but now coming into loaders in a lot of the Massey Ferguson product on the larger tractors like the 46, 4700 Global Series. Those loaders and on up you will see a skid steer but that is a specialty coupler not an ISO 56. If you come into your Agco parts dealer we'll gladly help you find the right couplers to match your tractor needs. All of these couplers down here are original equipment, different styles of couplers used on different tractors. So visit your Agco parts dealer. They'll be glad to help you if you need a female coupler. And we stock both the half inch pipe and the O-ring thread tips in stock. So you get the right coupler tip to work with your equipment. So you can get out there and enjoy your, your machine and get have more fun. There's also two styles of tips. There's a ball tip and a pointed tip. Both of them operate in the ISO 5675 female coupler tip. It's just different configurations of how the coupler tips are built. Um, both of them will work because inside of here, you see that point right there? That is what's going to activate when you push this to open the coupler to allow the oil to flow between the two coupler tips. We're here with the Massey Ferguson 1700M Premium Series cab tractors. They come standard with one set of rear remotes here. And we're just going to come in here with this style of coupler on the 1700M Premium Series Compact is a sliding collar style. You slide the collar and connect it. Slide the collar this way or pull it you can pull it or you can slide it backwards. We'll connect and disconnect the coupler. Now if you're curious, one of the tools we use in the shop is we've custom built, we've taken a gauge and we've uh, actually installed a fitting on there. It's an ISO. I could run the lever and I could read the pounds PSI's of the hydraulic system. So if you want to read your PSI's you can get you a gauge. We've custom built this one with some fittings and put a tip on it and then when we activate the lever you can read the hydraulics. We're going to go visit a couple other series of Massey Ferguson tractors and show you some of the difference in coupler tips. As we walk down the line here, the premium series, we're going to come upon the 2700E series. And the 2700E series utility tractor offers the same style of coupler tip. You've got a push-pull coupler tip. And again, you want to clean both tips, pull the coupler back, and install it. Works both directions, just like the 1700M. Now we're going to move up to the 2600H series. This is going to feature a different style of couplers. This is actually a 2607H that comes standard with two sets of rear remotes. Put our gauge down here. This is what they call a hydraulic assist coupler. Now one tip that I always 
forget to tell people you want to make life easier if you shut your tractor off and you take your levers and just relieve any pressure that could be built up in it that is one of the easiest tips to make it easy and successful to always connect your coupler tips with a hydraulic assist coupler you just push in on the hose and it snaps push in and pop out and it'll disconnect and you can see there was a little bit of oil comes out that's normal and put your plug in there to keep it nice and clean now we're up here at the 4700 global series tractor these are our large heavyweight large chassis utility tractors and we're just going to pull in here and you'll see we've got hydraulic assist couplers we've got a similar type of coupler doesn't have that sliding sleeve on it so this is what you're considered a hydraulic assist coupler so you push in and it hooks pop and it comes back out that is the difference between a sliding collar and a hydraulic assist coupler is the, the way the coupler tip is designed and it helps to hook when it's under pressure especially if you're dealing with on a hot day like today in July in a black hose like this you can create a lot of pressure now we're going to move up to the big bad boy this is the 67 16s this is the awesome Dyna VT man this sucker is the envy of the industry and we see we have a little different type of system here this is got little gates to keep them clean still want to clean that out clean your tip before you insert it but this is a hydraulic assist with pressure relief you can relieve the pressure right back here you pop in pop out and it's done actually it will in this tractor the oil will flow here and I've got a catch can to keep it but I still like to keep that out because dirt and dust is attracted to oil and makes a mess back here and it's going to extend the life of your couplers by keeping them nice and clean you can actually see here we have some specialty couplers on this tractor this is what they call power beyond uh, this is for fancy hydraulic planters and that type of stuff and they've got special couplers this is a flat face style coupler this is bigger power beyond for running planters and that type of stuff but that is a specialty couplers those are not your rear remotes uh, those are for specialty applications like power beyond for planter works one of the other styles especially couplers is like used on the loader on this 4700 series global series tractor this is a flat face style coupler you align these little holes here and pull it back and it'll pop off nice and easy that is another style of specialty coupler available on some tractors here on this 2700 we also see couplers here and this is the same style you've got the sliding st coupler style on this tractor to remove the hoses even on our subcompact tractors you'll find hydraulic couplers one of the places you're going to find them is when you disconnect your hydraulics for your loader you can see right down there that is a sliding style coupler that you pull the sleeve back makes it a lot easier to connect and disconnect I hope that helped you learn a little bit more about hydraulics the basics is very simple it's very easy um, if you're in West Central Missouri come visit us at Varnberg Implement we're right here at the business 13 and Missouri 13 in Higginsville Missouri we're your Massey Ferguson and Rhino Ag dealer and we're here to help you learn more and get more and do more with your Massey Ferguson and Rhino Ag equipment Visit us online and be sure to like, share, and subscribe our page. If you're in Kansas City, Missouri, we're just 49 miles east of the Kansas line, just four miles north of Interstate 70 in Higginsville, Missouri. We would love to teach you, show you, and help you get more out of your hard-earned investment 
when you're purchasing your neck tractor. Buy it right the first time. Come visit us at Varnberg Implements so you can learn all about it.